Hello dear engineers, this paper presents a new edge and pixel based image quality assessment metric for color and depth images. As an introduction, uh, the explanations are the image quality is the root characteristic of image which assess the amount of degradation and distortion, blurriness, color shift and all type of noises. Using an image quality assessment metric or IQA, it helps to control and minimize the amount of receiving or transmitting distortion on image. IQA methods plays crucial role in different application of digital image processing like per performance validation, image improvement and restoration, noise removal, image compression algorithms, restoration, packed losses, and digital watermarking. Measuring the quality of digital image is a complicated and important task. Image quality assessment metrics could handle that. IQA metrics are mostly pixel or edge based. Due to weakness of traditional IQA metrics such as PSNR, using edge based image quality metrics are so popular. Combination of edge and pixel features could handle most aspects of an image. That's what we did in this paper. Most of IQAs are for color images and not depth images. Uh, existing color database have proper and diverse number of noises, but there is no proper depth noise database, which it is decided to make one in this research. Any digital image could be polluted by a wide variety of noise and distortions in data transmission, uh, data receiving, data computation, data compression, and saving. Human Visual System or HVS is an appropriate tool to assess the quality of an image, but it does not, it is not possible uh, to be integrated with an electronic device. Also includes a lot of error due to changing from one person to another. Moreover, each person has different opinion and taste, of, taste about visual quality, which makes it harder to have a standard assessment based on human opinion. So, it is needed to have an electronic standard system based on HVS structure. IQ and metric fall into two main category, uh, categories of sub subjective and objective. Image quality validation based on HVS is called a subjective. Making an automatic IQX system which works as HVS is called objective IQ metric. These type of systems fall into three main categories, full reference, non-reference, and reduced reference. Full reference needs uh, both reference and distorted image for calculation. Proposed method is belong to this category, objective and full reference. Uh, full reference IQA methods could be classified into five classes of pixel difference based, correlation based, edge based, context based, and human visual system based. Uh, some usage here are first use is monitoring for system in quality control. For instance, a video acquisition system could get help from IQA metric and adjust itself with the best receiving image possible. Secondly, IQA metrics could be used in benchmark and famous system that are employed in image processing usages. And finally, these systems can be mixed into an image processing machine to improve the uh, algorithm's structure and the parameters. Uh, but about the sensor, depth sensors are made to calculate the distance between sensor and the subject. Also, they can be employed to make three-dimensional model of the object or subject. Kinect is one of the most uh, practical depth sensors to have. It is so much cheaper than other uh, depth sensors and efficient. Because of the lower price and high power uh, to use, a lot of developers and researchers use it as a main uh, depth device. It could be recorded uh, with uh, 9020 in 1080 resolution for RGB images and 512, 512 or 424 for depth images on uh, 30 frames per second uh, uh, specifications. Capable and uh, this uh, Kinect is capable of working between uh, uh, 0.8 to 5 meter uh, ranges. Uh, 
Depth image is uh, is an uh, image channel in which each pixel relates to distance between the image plane and the corresponding object in the RGB or color image. Also, it is uh, termed or called as a 2.5 dimensional image, as you can uh, create a 3D model out of it with a simple processing. We can see the Kinex Sensor version 2 that we use in this research uh, for different parts and from inside uh, cable, charger, and a specification between Kinex version 1 and Kinex version 2 in this uh, the, uh, figure, as you can see in the table below in the B section. Uh, Kinex version 2 is much better, uh, almost in all aspects. So here we can see the difference between color and depth image as we know. The, the color image is uh, clearly, for example, could be in the RGB space or different spaces, doesn't matter. But the color, but the depth image, uh, each pixel represents a distance with, between sub subject and sensor. For example, as you see, uh, we have 825, uh, for example, 825, then that means that the subject has uh, this uh, distance in millimeter from the sensor. Now, about uh, prior related research uh, uh, and uh, others uh, or traditional and of course new uh, IQA metrics we can mention to PASNR, which is uh, the most uh, famous uh, among all of them, and MSE. Uh, peak signal to noise ratio represent the unity level of signals. PSNR uh, represent a measure for peak error. A good value is among, uh, among between to to 20 to 50 as higher the psnr value the better comparison quality uh, mse the mean square error or msc msc and M M psnr are two best error metrics uh, msc shows the cumulative square error for compressed and the original image the lower value msc is better some of others, uh, SSIM or Structural Similarity Index measure can be achieved by uh, comparing pixel uh, intensities, local te template, which is normalized for luminance and contrast factors. Measuring the similarity between two images is, the, is its uh, main function. Uh, GCMSE or uh, gradient uh, conduction mean square error is uh, an edge a barometric based on MSE. Here, weighted sum of gradients, which are distant pixel, is uh, considered. Uh, GCMSE always brings better performance and result than MSE and SSIM. EBIQA. Uh, Edge preservation is one of the most important aspects during human visual system. Uh, Edge-based image quality assessment method is aimed to act as a human understanding of receiving feature, which we are going to use this one uh, with, uh, with the combination of uh, PSNR as our method. NSCR is another IQA uh, metric which is called non-shift edge base ratio is computing the response of classical zero crossing detection and non-shift edge base ratio calculation using Gaussian kernel in the image on different standard deviations to detect all edges. Common edge ratio number uh, placed by first edge number is uh, which is found. Result is normalized by log to optimize correlations. EME or image uh, or enhancement measure metric is based on the concept of Weber's law on of the human visual system. It helps to select the best parameters. Few others which doesn't have any uh, abbreviation for it is for the work of uh, Mr. Uh, Tan and ETAL in 2017. They proposed a new depth image quality metric which uh, demands only a single pair of color and depth images. Their methods closely estimate the depth quality metric that use the ground truth depth or stereo color image pairs. Another one is 2013 uh, is the work of Mr. Sai Chang and ETAL. They propose a novel 3D IQA metric to assess the quality of a stereo image that may contain artifacts introduced by the rendering process due to the depth map errors. Another one in 2018 is the work of Mr. Tian ITAL. They propose the full reference metric to assess the quality of depth image based rendering or DIBR 
uh, uh, which is a synchronized view as they believe to the quality metric may fail or may fail to evaluate or validate the quality of the synchronized view Uh, now uh, we are reaching to our method proposed IQ metric. Uh, this paper proposed a new full reference image quality assessment metric for color and depth images. It works based on edge and pixel feature. Proposed IQ metric is a combination of improved EBI, QA, and PSNR. It is called edge and pixel based image quality assessment metric or EPIQA. X, as we know, plays important role in detection and distinguishing objects in he human visual system. Uh, human eye has a disability or IQA power. Our method is an automatic IQA metric based on edge and pixel features which work similar to human eye. Also, for covering all details, a pixel-based approach PSNR is combined with the proposed approach or proposed method. Uh, the steps of the system are as follow. First, we have pre-processing, which is consistent of low and high pass filtering. First, median filters applies on both reference and distorted image. Second, uh, the on-sharp masking uh, affects the on, the, uh, on, the, on, on both of them. The, this makes image smooth from inside and sharp from outside, which helps to decrease most of the noise uh, types. Yeah. Step 3 is uh, uh, calculating PSNR value between distorted and reference image, which uh, uh, and PSNR value is, uh, as we know, is the range of 20 to 50, which this value normalizes between uh, 0 to 1 for final result. Then as the detection by below filter is applied on both images, as we found this uh, filter very uh, you know, effective other than that uh, traditional like Sobel and previous uh, methods. Next stage is belonging to dividing both distorted and reference image to 8x8 blocks. Using larger blocks uh, loses some of the information as smaller blocks makes the system so slow. So using 8x8 blocks is so rational here. Then we have extracting edge features. Edge density, edge uh, length average, gray level region, number of edge pixels, edge orientation. Uh, which uh, ED or edge density is the number of edges in each 8 by 8 blocks of an image and ELA uh, average length of each block first uh, all edge lengths are calculated GLR number of regions with the same gray level in each block NEP number of pixel for each edge in each block and EO is the number of edge with a vertical or horizontal orientation in each block Step 7 is computation distance uh, uh, between two corresponding blocks of uh, original and distorted image. And final step is to computing the average for EP, IQA, and PSNR values accurate from uh, both images. Uh, final value is a decimal number on, uh, in the range of 0 and 1. As it is clear, the number uh, closest to 0, the quality is higher. Now, on the right section, we can see part of the experiment, uh, which uh, actually is a blo blocking section part. Here we can see the uh, proposed method flowchart uh, and at the left, and proposed method on real data like uh, color and depth image uh, on right. For validation, the system is validated using four databases, two color and two depth databases, which one of them is proposed in this paper. For depth database, just depth data is used to show the efficiency of the system on depth data. In addition, a database which is consisted of three, the 13th depth image is made using Kinect version 2 sensor. Proposed database is called Noise da uh, Depth Database or NDDB and includes a small uh, home objects. This database is created due to the lack of desired noise in uh, available databases. As we can see in this table, we can see characteristic of each uh, color and depth databases. Uh, they, our database databases are A57, TID2008, Eurocom, and NDDB. Also, we can see other features of each one.
57 databases polluted with FLTJ, PGJ, P2, TC, DCQ, BLR, and NOZ uh, noises. TID 2008 database distortion types are 74 labeled, which may 68 distortion image. This depth image from uh, depth database noises are added manually using uh, seven noises of uh, uh, these noises are added to the your command proposed and DDB database. Noises are Gaussian, salt and pepper, Poisson, Spico, quantization, additive white Gaussian, and blockwise noises. We can see some samples from different databases in different noises uh, uh, in color and depth. Uh, also, we can see the experiment environment and uh, setup. Uh, validation and results. Uh, four common performance metrics had been used as validation, which are SROCC, KROCC, PLCC, and RMSE. SROCC or Spearman rank order correlation coefficient shows the statistical association among the ranking of two variables. It have evaluate how well the relationship between variables can be defined. KROCC or uh, Kendall rank orient, uh, order correlation coefficient measures uh, uh, used to assess the serial dependency between two assessed quantities. The Kendall correlation between two variables will be high uh, when observation have a homogeneous rank. PLCC or Pearson linear correlation coefficient is the variable uh, covariance which is divided by the product of their certain deviation or ST. RMSC, as we know, final metric is uh, RMSC uh, which, uh, which is mean opinion uh, between RMSE and mean opinion score uh, and the objective score uh, of nonlinear regression result. Here we can see the results for different uh, metrics and different validation uh, methods. Uh, and our, uh, our approach is uh, on the right side, right far side, uh, EPIQA, which is in red. Also, at top of this table, we can see the name of the database. These are two uh, uh, color databases. The same is for our depth databases, which is Eurocom and Propose and DDB database. Also, we have we can see the same results which we saw in the tables in as a as a visual form. Here is color uh, data. Here we can see the depth data. As conclusion, we can say that this paper proposed an edge and pixel-based IQA metric for color and depth images. Proposed method was tested using commonly used performance metrics on well-known color and depth databases. Due to the lack of distortion type data, the distortion depth databases a new database of NDDB is made for this purpose. Also, at comparison stage, proposed EPIQA metric is compared with some traditional and new metrics which in uh, which in both a color and depth experiments, satisfactory results were achieved and returned. Methods such as EME, SCIQA, EBIQA, and GCMSE had good performance alongside our with our method. Also, we can see some of the references which we used and uh, took help uh, from them in this research. And thank you so much for your attention.